Welcome to another Global Health Video Blog. My name is Greg Martin. This is the first of a series in which we're going to talk about ethics and global health. Now to understand ethics, what we're going to need to do is look a little bit more broadly at some related issues. Issues like human rights, justice and moral responsibility. In this short introductory video, we're going to take a quick look at the discipline of philosophy. And ethics falls within philosophy, so that's going to provide a little bit of context and it's going to help with some of the discussions that follow. It's worth mentioning that I'm not a trained philosopher or ethicist in terms of my background. That's not what my training is. And especially as we start talking about some of the more controversial issues, there's going to be a lot of people out there that are far more qualified than me to talk about these things. What I'm hoping to do is simply point you in the right direction. So if you're not from that kind of background, we're going to raise a couple of issues and hopefully provide you with the tools that will enable you to take the discussion a little bit further. So what is philosophy? I'm going to skip over the usual mumbo jumbo about how to define the word and what the Oxford Dictionary definition says, what it means. Instead of all of that, I'm going to try and boil down what philosophy is in terms of, in my opinion, what this tool or discipline we call philosophy is used to do. So how is it useful? What does it do for us? So we use philosophy and rational argument to explore essentially two questions. The first is what is true and the second is what is right. The first question includes our search for knowledge about the natural world and our understanding about the nature of reality and the meaning of our own existence, etc, etc. The second question is really about how we should live, both as individuals and as communities. In order to dig a little deeper into these two questions, we can divide philosophy up into a series of sub-disciplines. So what do I mean by that? I mean, within philosophy, we've got metaphysics, which is the nature of reality, logic, which is the process of thinking rationally. We've got epistemology, which is the limits of our knowledge and understanding. We've got ethics, which is the nature of morality, and of course we'll talk more about that. We've got the philosophy of language, which is the meaning of our thoughts, and we've got the inner workings of a whole range of other disciplines, like we've got the philosophy of science, we've got political philosophy, we've got the philosophy of economics, etc., etc. Now, within each of these sub-disciplines, we've got a multitude of theories and frameworks and ideas, and these are associated with various schools of thought. Uh, so what do I mean by that? Let me give you some examples. There's ideas like skepticism, idealism, pragmatism, utilitarianism, existentialism. These are just a few ideas. Don't worry about it. We're going to go into the ones that are relevant and try and see how we can lean on some of these frameworks to better understand ethics and philosophy in the context of global health. It's really all about creating a toolbox that you can use, that you can draw on when faced with ethical and philosophical issues in the global health context. So questions that you may come across or issues that you may, you may be faced with are issues like uh, exploitation, moral responsibility, human rights, fairness, justice, inequality, inequity, etc. Here are some examples of questions that we as public health professionals might be faced with. Uh, questions like, should wealthy people in the north be able to legitimately buy kidneys and other organs from poor people living in the south? To what extent are rich countries morally responsible for improving the health and well-being of people living in poor countries? When should a state encroach on an individual's rights in order to better society at large? How should we address historic unfairness? When, if ever, is killing justifiable? Should prisoners of war ever be tortured? How should we as a global community distribute our resources? The list of moral and ethical and philosophical issues goes on and on. And I certainly don't claim to have all the answers to these questions. What I'm hoping, however, is that we can together explore some of the tools and ideas that will empower you and, and people that you work with to form your own ideas based on a rational, structured thinking process. Tune into the next video and we'll take a closer look at some of these issues. Remember that if you subscribe to this channel, you'll get an email alert whenever a new video is posted. As always, thank you very much to the happyyellowamp.com for helping with the presentation.